So the best battery energy storage system is basically a utility size power bank that we connect to the grid. So basically you charge it from the grid and then you discharge it to the grid during the peak loads. We have three peak loads in Sabah. Uh, we have a morning peak, an afternoon peak and an evening peak. So that's where the best will be utilized. And the charging period is during the off peak where we will charge it using the cheaper generation source, which is mainly from the gas plants. And uh, the advantage for the best is that it will provide um, power during peak loads so we can avoid the load shedding to the consumers especially. And at the same time, uh, it allows for the mitigation of intermittency for the large-scale solars. So it allows more renewable energy to come into our system. So the best is using a lithium-ion technology and it's the most prevalent type of battery to be used in the market and um, the most mature technology that we have uh, to be in use today. So the battery components make up of battery management system where it will monitor the battery performance and condition and it will also go to the PCS, the power conversion system, where it will convert the power from DC to AC. And lastly, it has the EMS, the energy management system. It's basically the brain of the whole plant and will maintain and operate um, in regulation to the specifications to allow the battery plant to run as efficient and optimal as possible. So I always believe with the press and there's a problem, there's an opportunity. So we started back in October 2022, our hydro tenopangi got problem with the landslide and flood and we are not able to operate the power plant for almost one and a half year and coupled with the problem with one of the IPP and we have the shortage more than 100 megawatts and also back in March 2023 we have the hot season that's the problem started we have to load shed because of the shortfall in the generation capacity so in order to mitigate that, the state government asked us to come up with a fast-track solution and we identified the uh, battery energy storage as a fast-track solution at that time. And Alhamdulillah, we managed to complete it within nine months with this uh, good coordination, strong cooperation between the team contractor and the regulator, ECOS and government. And also I want to highlight that this is the first time that Sabah City going into the commercial financing to finance this project. So we able to get the financing from one of the bank and also one of the impact in terms of financial about this project is we able to reduce the subsidy required whereby we reduce the operation in the diesel and getting more cheaper generation when we charge the battery. And the other side of it, uh, the impact of this project, we managed to further reduce the interruption, the load shedding, and also we bring up the image of the regulator, the government, and our company, Sabah City, as the pioneer for the uh, utility scale with the size of 100 megawatt and 400 megawatt hours as the first of this kind in Malaysia. The objective of BEST technology is to provide stability into the grid system and hence this will ensure continued supply of electricity to Sabah and Labuan homes and as well as to build trust and confidence for the businesses in Sabah in terms of continued supply to their factory and also to their premises. We hope with the stability of the grid, this will also encourage new businesses to come into Sabah. And this will directly improve or contribute into the economy of Sabah. Most importantly, BEST project is in line with Sabah Energy Roadmap, which provides clarity in terms of transitioning into renewable energy. Apart from that, this project interlocks us into venturing into other renewable energy projects such as solar. Sabah Electricity is committed and working closely with the federal government, with the state government and agencies, as well as our regulator, Sabah Energy Commission, and our strategic partners and supply chain to ensure 
that we achieve the goal and objective of the Sabah Roadmap for the benefit of the people of Sabah.